Welcome back everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there. For the part three of our sub battle stream today, we're doing our special stream where I play against subscribers. Hopefully you checked out part one and part two, uh, especially part one, I uh, kind of gave you a more detailed description of what we're doing and how we're doing it. Uh, but basically we got me versus the chat. Uh, up. I am up 8-3 right now, but team chat is starting to mount some uh, part of a comeback here. We got a lot of people that are ready to battle here. Let's go ahead and see who is up next. Debo4. All right, Debo4, send me your gamer tag. So we can do the direct challenge. There's mine, and I am spinning a wheel to decide what deck I'm playing each time. <clears throat> We've gone through 11 decks so far. We have about, probably about 11 decks left. We're about halfway through the deck selection. We just played Mono Black Aggro at the end of the last video. All right, let's see what I'm playing. Looks like Mono Red Crasis. Okay, so do direct challenge. Opponent, Mono Red Crisis. There it is. For those of you unfamiliar with the deck, here's our Mono Red Crisis deck. Does Chandra not have a. Chandra does not. Banefire does. Yeah. Oh, I don't want that. I don't want that Karn. I want that to be a Chandra. In the sideboard also. Yeah, this is this is mono red. This is a mono red deck with Hydro Crisis. So it's mono red Crisis. Okay, deck looks good. Uh, we'll go and get these Bane Fires. Bane Fire looks kind of cool. All right, looks even better now. Almost all. Uh, card styles, except for the Chandra here. All right, time to battle. <laughs> this deck made me spit out my drink. Stars <laughs> of oh, the best deck finally. Yeah. All right, this hand's doable. So I'm not sure if Sean, like basically this deck was, I played this deck before War of the Spark. The only change I've made to the deck, because I haven't played it too much since, but the only the only change I've made is I took out Karn and put in Chandra. And so I, I don't know if Chandra is better in this deck than Karn. I, I just don't know. That's the only change I made though. Black-white deck doesn't normally have a lot of Instants and sorceries, so I'll just go ahead and play the Daredevil. Okay, you put in Sarkin instead of Hellkite. How's Sarkin working out with the deck? That could be a, a pretty decent change. Um, this deck can get a whole lot of mana for Hellkite and everything, but Sarkin's a really good card. No, Mac nope, it's not on a delay. Uh, but this is just a, a just-for-fun event with, you know, subscribers here, and nobody is watching and trying to gain an advantage while playing. I'll just go no attacks here. Das Bomb! Welcome back to the channel. Sub number 10 on the day. Let's get some hype in the chat. Alright, y'all remind me to get the pack to 
go get a pack to crack after this. So I I didn't want to use a shock on one of these, but you know now obviously I kind of have to. Um, didn't necessarily want to at first. All right, Chandra time. Start taking up Chandra. Sit back and watch it burn. Try to hit lands. Karn would not have just had a card for us to exile there, but. Hey, there you go, Aku. That's not bad at all. First time playing Modern. It's pretty nice. Good job. Let's light it up. Um. So Lava Coil, of course, is a really good draw, so I'm just going to take the damage from the Seraph. If Seraph's attacking Chandra, that's that's four damage upstairs. But this is why we got Hydro Crisis in our deck, because it's just such a good card. No, not my Chandra. Phew. Okay, good. Didn't take Chandra. I thought Devo was taking Chandra for sure, though. Alright, if Chandra takes four, you take four. It's only fair. It's only fair. What's that smell? Uh it's you burning. Well, I'm gonna have to bane fire. Or sorry. Uh I have to do that. So I can like Bane Fire for Three. What's the best animation in the game? There's a lot of good ones. The new Tezzeret, the new blue-black Tezzeret, like, whenever you tick up on it, it has, like, its claw, like, comes out of the screen, like, in the bottom left-hand corner here. And, like, like this, this Tezzeret. I think Seraph? Seraph's your call? Ugin was a great draw. Great draw there. Bathe in ghost fire. Stop! I don't Another need this. Time, well, I thought it was going to take out Chandra again. It's going to be bad for you. Treasure map with Chandra is a cool... That's a cool combo. Oh, right. The Mobilized District. Maybe I should have saved. I'll keep the other treasure map. Maybe I should have saved. Guess you don't need me anymore. <clears throat> that Lightning Strike. I guess I have the Arch of Araska, though. I really didn't need to keep the second treasure map. Ow. No, don't tap, don't tap the Arch. All right, get the upkeep stop in. Ooh. I'll take that one. All right, you can tap the arch this time. I'm not going to activate it. 
This deck is sweet. I mean, I think I just have lethal, but I'm going to just play it correctly just in case. Attack. <clears throat> All right, so black, white, we got some knights. Some mid-range stuff. Got a bunch of enchantments. Do I want these cinder vines in to blow up enchantments? Maybe. Hmm. Cannonade seems awesome. That's got to be just great. Um, coil is great. I'm going to take out Banefire and Daredevil, not as good. I'm going to play two of these. Take out two Daredevils, three Strike. Get another Chandra in here, take out another Strike. I got three, three center vine, three shock. Okay, that looks pretty solid. Got the lava coils for Seraph. Got the fiery candidates for all the, all the two twos with like history banali and stuff. We got a lot more people in here. Uh, welcome everybody. If you don't know what we're doing here, we're doing our sub battle stream today. It's a fun event where. I'm playing against different subscribers all day. We're playing against Debo right now. And that's a good one. And I have a wheel that I spin, spin the wheel to, to figure out what deck I'm playing. So you get to see different decks every single round. Uh, the subscribers love to bring different decks as well. And it's just a good time. Can I wait till I have six mana and double chain whirler? Like, is that gonna be possible? Yeah, I have cinder vines because because of all the enchantment removal that my opponent has. Like, that's. Is for blowing up the enchantment removal, and <clears throat> I brought in lava coils and fiery cannonades and replaced and took out um, it's more likely they have a white permanent than a black permanent, that's why I'm going after the nine of malices and took out lightning strikes. So I, I still have like a same kind of removal. I can do better than that. See? Better. Oh no. Oh yeah. I was like, no, I didn't have an upkeep stop. But then I don't have a treasure map anymore. So it's okay. That card's busted. Unfortunately, though, this game, we have just continued to hit land drops and play big mythics, and Debo got stuck on two lands. Okay. I like it. Fighting back. We're not giving up. Ugh.
Yeah, I have. I've had really good hands most of the day. I march into battle as your champion. I remember talking to Todd when we were playing the first sub-battle day. I was trying to convince him to combine the 12-hour stream we had coming up with the sub-battle stream, and he was worried about running out of challengers. That is all true. Um, all right, let's let's win in style. Double chain whirler. A good hit. And our Hydroid Crisis deck also casting two Chain Rollers in a turn. I fought worse. Hmm. 9 3, widening the gap here. Alright, yeah, to go about challenging, you got all you have to do, you have to be a subscriber. Uh, gotta be a subscriber, and then after you're a subscriber, all you have to do is type the word battle into the chat between matches here. So. We'll see who wants to be the next person to battle. So that's kind of do a giveaway style. So if you're a subscriber, type the word battle in the chat, and we're going to uh, pick a random person. Yeah, so we pick a random sub who's ready to go, and we just do it each each time. So that's, that's how we do it there. Uh, we did get to 10 subscribers on the day just a little bit ago, so we hit a sub goal. So I'm going to crack a pack. So if you're a subscriber and you want to play, go ahead and type battle in the chat. And while you do that, let's crack a pack. Every story is Tamio. For new data. Awesome. That's a great one. I'll take that. Yeah, that is kind of the rumor. It's a few. It seems like people that use the emojis get are more likely to get picked. Yeah, that was a good, good pull. There you go. Welcome to the stream, Zero. Thanks for that sub. So yeah, make sure you type battle into the chat here. No, no exclamation point. Just regular battle. There you go. You got it. All right. Let's see who's up. Aku. Akulal. So yeah, just do that. So zero, I just do that each each round. So then after this, after this, uh, after I play against Aku here, then I'll just do it again. So you're gonna stick around, and uh, yeah, that's how we determine who who we play. So I don't I don't do it like list style. Um, because if, if you, you know, people like get on the list, then like people leave or have to go and then like you're trying to find them and, and everything. So just do it, just do it randomly each, each time. All right. Send me your gamer tag, Aku. There's mine. All right. And while you are sending me your gamer tag, let's see what deck I'm playing next. All right, Selesnia Arcbo. I need to get this one up on the Stream Decker page too. This is the deck. This is like my. <laughs> this is like my pick for what deck I would bring to a tournament right now. Um, I've been. I played this one a whole bunch earlier today. Uh, I was just kind of tuning in everything, uh, in the. Ranking up in the ranked queues with this. The reason why I like this deck so much is because I, I really like it against Mono Red with all these Shalais and Lyras and Nullhide. You got Knight of Autumn. So Mono Red is like the most popular deck. And I think you just have an awesome Mono Red matchup. All right, I just added up, it up to the Stream Decker page for the people that were asking about it. Um. And then I think it is pretty good against control also with all the arc bows and the Vivians. You have an okay control matchup. Other mid-range decks can kind of go a little bit over the top, but you still have Lyra and Shalai and Oketra that those those cards can still get you wins and everything. And then I got all these Demystifies and more Vivian or more uh, Knight of Autumns for Nexus. 
Yeah, the, the Wolves card, it's been treating me pretty well. I took it out for a while. I have it back in now. You know, it's it's not like a, a have to be in the deck kind of thing. How does it stack up against Grixis? So the thing that you have against Grixis that's really good is you have all the Nullhide Feroxes. That card is awesome against Grixis. Uh, you know, like they play their Nickel Bolas, make you discard. Like those things that make you discard, you get to put your Nullhide into play. It's it's a really hard card for them to beat. Uh, the Arcbow, also real strong, but they do have Artifact Removal, but Arcbow is really good there. So that's... That's like what it. Uh... <clears throat> That's like your strong card. That's like your one that you really want to have. There is your Nullhide Ferox. Yeah, it does pretty good. Still there. All right, let's see how we do. Ew. Well, I'll start with this. Turn two Jade Light's really good. I'm not like completely sold on the Mobilized District still. They're okay. They're, you know, they're fine. I don't know if Blast Zone would be better or not. I have two districts right now. And I could see Blast Zone being better. Yeah, turn one land war off. It's hard to pass up. While Night of Autumn is like a spell I could play next turn, and I don't have a spell to play next turn, um, I'm looking for something a little better. Uh, I was hoping Thought Erasure. We are Thought Erasure proof. Ah, still not Thought Erasure. All right, but of course the question a little bit ago was how is this deck against Grixis and we're going to kind of find out here face Anaku. Yeah, there's one guild gate in the deck because like basically just to help fix mana because you want so much green early with the land wars and uh, land war elves and everything and that helps fix our our mana. There's just one Are much more reliable than he. you fight like a city brat. All right, so I was checking to see what I had there. If I, I guess I was one man away from activating this mobilized district anyway. If I would have, yeah, actually, I could, I could attack with that mobilized district anyway. There you are, Nullhide. All things begin and end in nature. So I know I have, I could, I know I could play instant speed Nullhide, but I want the Nullhide to be able to block the Nickel Bolas to protect Vivian. I think it was you fight like a city brat, not not Simic rat. Have you ever lost a home?
<laughs> Same thing. Alright, five cards in Graveyard for Escanta. Now we'll have this surprise Ferox that they'll never see coming. Even if they, even if Aku thought erasures, we got nothing. All right, before damage, I need to be able to play this because otherwise. If I let damage happen, then I won't have flash anymore. Let's do and I don't, I don't think there's anything left that will save Aku. Fire him up. Get the district. You know, they have like a cast down to kill district and block one null hide, that's still nine. <laughs> All right, let's see what we want. Harpooner seems pretty good. Let's get the extra Vivian, the two Harpooners. I'll. Replace Tithe. I mean, Tithe Thicker is just fine. But I think I'm going to replace that. Tulsimer is too small. It gets me 60. Do I want to play Tithe Taker instead of Knight of Autumn? And Knight of Autumn can blow up as Kanta. Do I want to take out a Shalai? Shalai gets Lava Coiled and doesn't match up against Crackling Drake or Nickel Bolas at all. So maybe I play Tithe Takers instead of Shalai's. Good thing that Shalai does, though, is Shalai instant speed um, saves things from removal. I just won't play Tithe Dicker. Let's go with this. A real strength to this deck is just how like you don't you don't mulligan very much. It's just like a pretty consistent deck of like a, a good amount of lands, like twenty five lands with the eight explorer creatures and the four land war elves, and then your extra lands you can use with arc bows and stuff like that. Yeah, Aku Aku's using a little bit of a, a budget mana base. I know Aku said in you know before that's why they that's why Aku's playing so many basics. It's a, it's kind of a budget mana base. So Aku, if you're watching this late back later, you should do that opt main phase and try to hit the land drop and play the land on your own turn. Strike now! Strike hard! That needs that needs to be a main phase opt. Tulsmart also just kind of gives us a little bit of interaction. We don't really have much, and it, it gives us a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and shock here. Let me show you what was lost. I think I just want both the white sources. I can discard the forest to the, the arc bow kind of thing. But yeah, I'm activating arc bow this turn. I'll just discard one of these. Tilt. It's like the first time I've ever whipped on arc bow. Ugh. Good card was right up next. Mysteries of life are endless. I 
Hey, Vincent, going really good. Vincent Speedo Ketra is not exactly fair. I was looking for another land. I wanted to hit still walk another away. land drop. And poor Aku over there doesn't have any black sources. Could have, like, Ritual of Soots and things like that, but no black mana. Dang. Game Aku. It could be more of a Drake deck splashing black. Yeah, poor Aku. Where's my GG emote? GG's. All right, who is up next? <laughs> Arena didn't want you to thought erasure, though. Nope. GG, Zaku. Yeah, you used all your luck in the modern tournament earlier. <clears throat> all right, if you're a subscriber and you'd like to battle, and you haven't battled today, go ahead and type battle into the chat. See who our next subscriber is that we're going we're gonna to face here. <laughs> All good, Gabe. All good. All right, chat. Need to get seven wins in a row here. So we're thinking... I'm thinking that, like, if if chat wins one of our sub battles, that the... We're thinking, like, uh, that then I'll, I have to do, like, a 12-hour stream, like, the next day. If I lose, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> oh, thanks, Aku. How do you play? Just type type the word battle, Krayson, if you're ready to play right now. Or, yeah, read all that too. Right, hurry up, Grayson. I'm waiting on you. Then we're going to see who's up next. Okay. Prugor. All right, Prugor. Send me that gamer tag. Is Esper Midrange the best deck in Standard at the moment? It's up there. It has everything. Esper, Esper has everything. So it's just whether the Esper midrange is like you know tuned to beat everything, and then once once people start building decks to beat Esper midrange, that's you know once that starts happening, we'll see if it can withstand that and everything. But uh, yeah, Esper has all the tools to be good. All right, I'm running out of decks here. Run out of decks to play. Each time a deck comes up, it gets removed from the wheel. Ooh, playing Dreadhorde Control. All right. I'll be playing Selesnya Arcbo tomorrow in the ranked queues. I'm going to be playing that deck a bunch tomorrow. I'll be trying to get to Mythic with it. All right, Dreadhorde Control. This is the Dreadhorde Control deck. All 
I'm familiar with the deck. I always like showing the deck first. We got one blast zone, one field of ruin. We're just straight up blue black. Control. Thoughts on bolo ties? I've never owned a bolo tie. I've never owned one. That's something that you do in groups, though. You wear bolo ties with other with other friends that are also wearing bolo ties. Because everybody knows you can't go solo while wearing a bolo. It's just the rule. Yeah, I, I did take out <laughs> the command the dread horde for Liliana and the dread horde control. Um, four, four, three, five, and a lot. <clears throat> so I want to take Teferi because it's the cheapest, but honestly, this God, God Eternal Oketra. I, mean, I could attack White Mana, though. I'm worried about that Oketra. Obviously, I don't have any like removal for anything in their hand, though, right now. So we'll see if they have a another... Uh, they just drew a white source. They need to field a ruin first. Yeah, I think getting rid of white blue... Is better than white green. It not much difference there. Um, I don't really have an opinion on Hugo Boss ties. I may own a Hugo Boss tie or two. But I don't know if I do. Uh, I should have taken the Oketra. I'm never going to be that Oketra. Let's draw on two white sources, unfortunately. Ooh, maybe we'll get lucky and hit a Thought Erasier. My prowess, but thoughtfulness wow, action. that's lucky. You can use, um, I use this this site here to switch out my basics uh, and get the War of the Spark basics. Yes, if the if the check if the check lands are reprinted, you will be able to use your old check lands. That's just how it's always been. I have just the trick for this. Wait, maybe I should have got Sinister Sabotage. There's this Frilled Mystic that's up. Play Krasis? Good, good thing is Narset does shut off the, the card draw from Krasis. Also, we asked about the Gruel list. Uh, here, I'll show you the, the Gruel list that I've been playing in, in Ranked. We had a lot of success with it a couple days ago. I never played it, maybe yesterday. It's not the best. Here we go. It's really good against blue decks. It's not as good against aggro, but it's still not so bad. Bum, 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 bum. 
We have another counter spell. It's not likely, right? I do hope you make this battle exciting for me. What a good mindless minion. Yeah, it's King Jay's list. Oh no, another Oketra? No. Can't be that card. Like ever. Like ever, ever. Ooh. Get out of here. All right, I think I found a way to beat that card. <laughs> Good health is easy to find in war. Figured it out. Oh, masculine. That's a different, yeah, different gruel list. Um. That one that I just linked there, it's focused on like arc bow and stuff. Um, but yeah, no, no Paul Collector. Man, I am drawing fire today. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, team chat. I'm just drawing fire. See if you're worthy. There is wonder in a blade of grass. So if I just give them one land, I guess I want to take up Liliana one more time. I always survive. You'll see. I think we were perfectly safe to do that yeah, before but ultimating. Effective. Well, our opponent doesn't draw any cards with Krasis, remember? Because of the Narsets, so they wouldn't draw any cards. Um, sure. No, unfortunately, Grixis isn't too good. All right, they get to choose one permanent they control of each type. So one creature, one land. That's it. All right, with this extra ritual, this extra contempt. We got pretty lucky in dealing with Oketra there that game. We are really lucky, to be honest. I don't want that card. Which means I guess I'm playing some Thief of Sanities. Thief doesn't work too well with ritual and cry and all that kind of stuff. But Thief can help us steal games. Hmm. I think we'll just go with this. No, let's go all in here. Stick this out. Take one of these out. I 
I'm basically kind of cutting down on, on Sabotage some because of Teferi. Program! Welcome to the program. <laughs> Thanks for the sub there. Welcome back, Storm. For an entire year, got a new badge and everything. Yes, Ego would work on Oketra. As long as the Oketra's not in play, of course. But yeah, Unmoored Ego could use that on Oketra. Which isn't like the worst idea I've ever heard. I know my responsibility. Don't worry, I got this. There are so many keep an open mind. All right, so work towards flipping the South Canta. We got one card in the graveyard so far. How this thing goes is up to you, pal. Tear it down. Tear it all down. If they minus with Teferi, they don't draw a card. Here Thanks to Narset. Just gonna go ahead and get rid of that Oketra right now while I can. Meditate and prepare. Might as well. <laughs> Wait, you think nature is kind? Yeah, that, that's what I was thinking. Like, go down all the sab. Yeah, maybe I could have taken out every single sabotage for duress. That's yeah, this like Teferi it. is certainly a problem. So they can kill Narset here if they want with the deputy. I'm kind of surprised they didn't do that of just play deputy, steal as Kanta, attack Narset for one because I can't do anything because of Teferi. Starting over is the only way. No, I but I can flip as Kanta now. Remember, I can't play instant, so might as well just play the sorcery speed. Puppies whine less than you. I was not prepared for this. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Alright, so they have six cards in hand plus two extra cards. 
with Vivian there. going to be activating as Kanta, um, casting Contempt into what's likely a Frilled Mystic. Not so great. I just try to get like some more, some more answers. Let's try this. And I don't want to just use a one-for-one -one removal spell when I have Ritual of Soot here. Definitely be a crisis in one of those two. So do I slam Liliana and eat their two creatures? Yeah. The undead make great minions. Really wanted to brave. contempt to fairy, so I could play instance. But then if they have like another to fairy, like I mean, like I would have had sabotage at least. Liliana is just so good. It's kind of hard not to play Liliana. It's a tough game playing against this band deck. There How much stuff they got. In a blade of grass. Yeah, we're challenging subs. All day. This might be a bad idea. That's good. Rise. <laughs> I was testing to see if they had they were going to counter the Kefnet, but they could have like Dovin's veto. It's only a matter of time. Okay. Things begin and end in nature. I am not going to sit this one out. Oh, Ketra's so good. I've got time. Playing instant speed is really strong. <laughs> Kakashi! Thanks for that sub, Kakashi. Yeah, so just be here. Uh, after no. this match, well, this whenever we start the next one, and you'll be good to go. Sub number 13 on the day.
gonna go on to the next game. And yeah, let's let's take Sabotage out and just have Duress in instead. I could certainly see just Unmored egoing Oketra. It really does kind of feel like Oketra is like the, the thing that's like the biggest card I can't beat. I mean, there's still like Krasis and all sorts of other stuff, though. The deck that I'm playing, it should be in stream deck. It's uh, called Dreadhorde Control. Should be able to find it in there. Now you can also check like the YouTube channel. Just it's maybe easier to kind of see on the YouTube channel, like with the the panel, the info panels and everything. Just kind of scroll down to uh, Dreadhorde Control. Got Paradise Druid. Basically, I just kind of went like with a different deck, like went with like a different shell completely and everything, and. Um, Cancer. Um, yeah, we got the branch walkers in there and the jade lights to help us to help you just continue to hit your land drops. All right, Krasis, Oketra. I know I need a land drop. I also want to start filling the graveyard for Ascanta. So I'm hoping one of the next two cards is another land. I know I'm being greedy. Perfect. That's the problem with playing Duress, is whenever it's not right away, they don't, you know, they have a lot of creatures in their deck. So got a little punish there compared to, um, maybe I just save Duress for like after they play Krasis though. Yeah, I should have just done that, even though we can... Nah, we're not even flipping Ascan to that fast. Yeah, Cyborg Plan versus Aggro, Wild Growth, and Lava Coil. That is like the thing that you're probably. That is like the matchup that I'm most concerned about with Gruul. Which is why I like the Selesnia Arc Bow list that I also just put up there a little bit ago. A whole lot. Have more field mystics. I'm not flipping Ascanta here because I want to be able to use it again the next turn. I'm tapping out here. Oh, we got another crisis. wasn't meant to be contained. Alright, now I know Kefnet's gonna resolve, that's good. For the fallen. Nah. Uh, 
that's a pretty good question. Where, where do you actually bring in Rekindling Phoenix out of red decks? I think you want to bring it in against Strike Esper. Hard. Even though they have like Contempt, but you just want to replace Chain Whirler with that. Um, against like green creature decks, Phoenix is awesome. You're probably bringing it in there. You have to go full control mode. In order, you have to do full control mode in order to kill something before blockers, which is kind of weird. I've seen worse. That's how it is. Yeah, I need a reveal. Good, good. Yeah, you're right, Mask. You're right. All right, always reveal. Hey, you're welcome, Alpha Batter. Battler. Thank you. I want to actually use my contempt. Way to go, Minty Wins. Hit method, good job. Yeah, Magic's a pretty expensive game, Blazing Rogue. Ugh. Stop having Oketra. No. Oketra so good. Reveal. Not bad, not bad. Ugh. You just let me know. All right, opponent smart. Taking their own Teferi so that if I ever kill that deputy, they get their Teferi back. All right, now they're going to give some something reach. Wild animals I like. Ah, I've nice. Giving that deputy reach. Less than you. Yeah, definitely revealing island. Can me? Hmm. 
Let's see. Wow. That worked really well. We got no catcher out of there. This is hardly my worst defeat. I've lost so much already. I won't lose. Starting over is the only way. You can still walk away. There's been some really good games. We have uh, last game and this game. We were getting really fortunate with milling, like milling over Oketra, getting thought erasures for Oketra. Right, you know, like when we've been able to. We've gotten rid of three Oketras. I don't really imagine. My opponent's playing more than three Oketras. The focus and discipline. Hone your prowess. So no tyrant scorn. So I've already seen home? two of my four Tyrant Scorns, though, but did a lot of digging there. I'll be back, just like before. Hey, Jamal. I guess I make this trade. See if they want to activate the Growth Chamber Guardians or, at all or not. All right, fair enough, fair enough. before action I can't cast that with Shalai out um and I have to mill myself here because you know I can't I can't target them so I have to mill myself What a long game. d -Lev just got back from an MCQ, finished top 16 with a big red list. Still, that's really good, d -Lev. Good job. And, yeah, as long as you, like, know what your mistakes were and, and you know, you, you can learn from them and, and be able to grow for the next time, that's uh, all you want. GG's Pruger, man, those are some great, those are some really good games there, Pruger. GG's. I got really fortunate um, with being able to get 
um, Oketra, like, out of your hand at, like, perfect timing and stuff and, and everything, like, a milled in Oketra over and all that kind of stuff. Oketra was, like, the, the card I was really scared of all the time. <laughs> you're welcome, Rodimac. All right, so if you're a subscriber and you'd like to play next, uh, go ahead, play against me next. Go ahead and type the word battle into the chat here. Oh, were you on a five-card hand that third game? I didn't even notice that. Wow. I put up such a fight, too. Yeah, great games. All right, everybody in there? All right, let's see who's up next. Trey Plays Games is not a subscriber, though. Sorry, Trey Plays Games, so let's retry. Kakashi. Yeah, Kakashi's a subscriber, right? Yeah. Yeah, I thought Kakashi just subscribed a little bit ago. I think our latest subscriber, right? No, Alpha Battler was... Or no, yeah, no, Alpha Battler just said the tip. Yeah, Kakashi is our latest subscriber. So there you go. Brand new. All right, send me your gamer tag, Kakashi. Um, there's my gamer tag right there. Uh, so you can copy-paste that one. Send me yours. And I am going to go ahead and spin this wheel. Let's see what I'm going to play up next. Nia Legends? Woo! This is a good one. Okay, Nia Legends. All right, so if you don't know th about this deck, I should do I should do just a quick relog, shouldn't I? After that game. It was getting frame droppy and stuff. Let's just do a, a real quick relog. Yeah, we got Druidic Vows. We're a more aggressive Legends deck. We've got a, a lot of aggressive elements. All right, here's our here's our deck. We got Domri Gideon, which that's a good that's a good combo. You have your Gideon out, and then you can fight stuff with with your Gideon. That's a good combo. And then we have like the the Tajik Shalai combo, where they can't target your Tajik when you have Shalai out, and Tajik prevents the damage to your Shalai. So that's a good combo. We got a bunch of fives, of course, because there's too many cool fives to play. We got the Sarkin chilling over here. All right, that's our deck. Oh yeah, we got Chandra's. Chandra's fire. Oh wait, whoops. I need I need to change that to best of three. That's my bad. Cause I just restarted. It goes back to best of one. This stuff. This deck is funky. Sphinx of Foresight, that's not a card you see very often. Two Sphinx of Foresight, you get double scry three. That's just stack your deck. 
You just completely stack your deck with double scry three. All right, first one is two top, one bottom. Those first two going on top must be awesome. And then again, two top, one bottom. Yeah, Kakashi won their first raffle. Oh, why did I just play the Land Elf? Sorry, I was, oh no. I didn't play Land War Elf. Uh. <laughs> You're, the chat, uh, <clears throat> the chat strat is working. Of distracting me. Well, I, I basically would have only been able to attack for one here. I didn't have the double white for Gideon, so I, I missed one point of damage. <laughs> so that's that's all we did was just miss one point of damage. Yeah, couldn't even play anything on the turn two anyway. Life Link. I believe it. Gonna get that point back. Gonna gain it. 21. Count it. <laughs> yeah, so Kakashi had a Grazer there, but no land to put into play with it. Wolf time. Wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. This Tulsimer is very vigilant. Prepare for battle. Um, I might have updated the the this. I might have uploaded this Nia Legends. We haven't played it on stream, I am not but I think I might have updated it just in the stream decker, like one of the last, like the last time we streamed. So I could have just recast that Gideon. Maybe that last turn, unless I don't know if Kakashi did that end step. I wasn't really looking. Gideon Jura, at your service. I'm kind of looking for Naya Legends here. It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like I have this up on Stream Decker, which I'll I can uh, Share rectify that problem. But I'm not I'm not seeing it on the Stream Decker page right now. This is Selesnia Redlands. <laughs> That's this deck. Selesnia Redlands. Hmm. What did I see? I didn't see very much. We don't really see why Ruinous Blast would be necessary. No, I definitely want Dom Dead. Just no, get that back in here. Maybe some maybe just to get a bunch of cinder vines in here. I don't know, blue green decks, I'm scared of enchantments. Alright, we got a slow hand, but it looks really cool. <laughs> yeah, chat's, chat's memeing. I didn't draw anything to do turn one or two. Narset. The past meditate and prepare. 
This Arkin is going to turn a bunch of planeswalkers into dragons. You call it anarchy. For me, it's just business. We're it's adding red here. We're Wait, painting the town red. What are you up to, Hawkeye? You want to come up here? Hey, good boy. I have just the trick for this. <clears throat> uh. I'd say my favorite deck right now, it, it changes a lot, you know, um, but my favorite deck right now is the is Selesnya Arkbow. I, I uploaded it today, uh, but I was working on it a bunch before the stream today. I'll, I'm going to be playing it tomorrow. Uh, yeah, this deck, I'll send, I'll put this deck list up in the chat after... Release to the wind. We won't answer the other kids. After the match, I'll put it up on Stream Decker. So I was just making sure that resolved, because if, if Vivian got countered, then... I would have had Dom refight. Another Sphinx. Dragons. Oh, they have they have the third. Oh, I missed that green source over there. They could have released the wind. My Lyra, I missed that. The wilds are my shield. I just saw this two mana over here. You know, I saw like two mana untapped. Yeah. Standard mono green Tron. I have not seen standard mono green Tron. The Selesnia list uh, is right here. Drown Secrets. This is like a, a combo deck. We need more dragons. Let's do this. More dragons. Might demands power. Yeah, this is a a combo mill deck. With the release of the wind, Naru Meha. Get Infi Mill combo. Alright, I'll get that list up on Stream Decker now. Alright, that's going up there. GG Kakashi. Um, needed one more turn, yeah, to to Infi combo me. Need just a little bit more mana. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna Infi mill me. Okay, if you are a subscriber, GG Kakashi. If you are a subscriber and um, like to battle up next. Ugh. Go ahead and type battle into the chat right now, and I'm getting Naya Legends up. All 
All right, there's the Nia Legends deck. All right, everybody in there? Model Green Tron's pretty legit. Sweet. I like big mana stuff. All right, okay. I need to get to like my keyboard and stuff. He like thinks I'm trying to play with him and everything. All right, you sit over here. Okay, let's see who's up next. <laughs> it's all good, Kakashi. Um, hey, don't bite me. All right, Jeff the car is up next. Where's a pen or something? Here. Attack the pen. Don't attack me. There you go. All right, Jeff, send me your... Uh... <laughs> Thanks, chicken pants. Give me your gamer tag. All right, there we go. Perfect. Hit exclamation point gamer tag in the chat for mine. Uh, Hawkeye's kind of in the way right now. I'm going to let the wheel decide what deck are we playing next. We don't have very many left. Mono White Angels. That's a, this is a fun one. This is a deck I like to play in ranked. I think it's pretty strong. The advantage to being mono white and not being any other, not adding a color is that you get a lot of utility lands. So I have five, five utility lands in here with all the white mana. Um, it has, I have the green ones just because of Shalai, but it's, it's just a mono white deck. But we've got 20 white sources, five utility lands, um, and you just curve out. It's just a strong curve out deck. A lot of good interaction in the sideboard, not much interaction in the main. All right, that's our deck. Oh, can't do. Mm, wrong button. Do I have it at best of one? I should have it at best of three. Oh, yeah, change. So changer is the best of three there, Jeff. Changer is the best of three. For that wheel, okay, cool, redid it, awesome. Should work now, perfect. For that wheel, it's just uh, wheeldecide.com. W-H-E-E-L, like a, you know, a wheel. That's how, that's that spinny wheel thing. All right, I like it. Tomik, what a distinguished advocate this is. I should update this with War Basics. Gotta do that. So we got a little bit more than an hour for the stream tonight. Maybe another three, four, five matches, something like that. 
And Tamik was the take. Should mean moment of craving in Jeff's hand here. That's a good card. Hostage Taker, real clutch. That's a good one. What artifacts deck decks a manual? So we have two Ixalan's bindings in the main deck as far as like removal goes. It'd be really nice to binding the sausage shaker here. Nope. Fire it up. The district. This is mono white. I have I just have some green sources because of Shalai's ability, which costs green mana. Every card in the deck is white. Just three power creatures getting it done. We want to win a, a real long game, but we don't need to win a, a real long game. Mobilized District helped us finish this one out. Alright, so against the blue-black deck, I want these Ixalan's Bindings. Very good card against blue-black. Uh, I think I want an extra Johnny as well. Spyglass? No. Honor Guard? I mean, Honor Guard stops Hostage Taker, of course, but is there other creatures with ETB effects? Probably not. I think I'm going to take out... I'm going to just take out Honor Guard. I'm going to go down to one Honor Guard. Because that's basically all Honor Guard's going to do is like stop a Hostage Taker. That's not very good. I'll take those out. I'm going to take out an Angel of Grace. Cutting something that costs four or five mana. So it's either Shalai, Lyra, Angel of Grace. One of those. Or the Angel. I don't need the destroy enchantment thing to just to kill disinformation campaigns. It's just there's just not that great of a chance that they have disinformation campaign. You know, it's not over fifty percent that they have a disinformation campaign. And even if they do, you know, we'll just let it be there. It's already done its thing whenever it enters. I'm the I'm the proactive deck. I don't I don't need to try to react that hard. I like Demystify a lot more because of the mana cost of just being a single white mana. It's very cheap, very easy to play a threat to the board and be able to keep that up against Wilderness Reclamation. Um, I 
what card makes an artifact? What's that? Talking about like Sahili? Toxic Flames, welcome back. Sub number 14 on the day. Let's get some hype in the channel. All right, Gide both Gideons down. Misha's self-replicator. That's a good one too. If you surrender now, I'll still have time for tea. A mind is a terrific thing to waste. Together, strength Attack. is born of struggle. This has been a waste of my time. <laughs> Seven two times a month. That might be the the notifications. Finding a campaign? I guess so. It's not really that good to just hold cards in hand against the disinformation campaign, duress, thought erasure, Davriel deck. <laughs> Everything in the deck is discard something. It's not really good to keep cards in hand, so I guess we're just playing the binding on the campaign. No, you like a hostage taker here would be a problem. Bleh. There's a hostage taker. That's a problem. I will lend you my strength. All right, problem kind of solved. Do we get to ultimate a Johnny? Looking like we're going to ultimate a Johnny. Bring on the kitties. I brought some friends. The army of cats. Okay, you want to see this army of cats? Okay, come here. Come here. Come here, it's an army of cats. Yeah, it's up here. Come on. I'm not picking you up. All right, fine. I'll pick you up. Ugh. An army of cats. See, there you go, bud. Check it out. Isn't that cool? Army of kitty cats. They're just like you. Have to look over here. Let's do it. Let's attack. A Tez self replicator deck. I'm going to play a Tezzeret deck soon. I um, haven't had the time yet to put it together, but I already have like the ideas of like a Tez Tezzeret Sahili deck. Like an artifact deck. I hadn't thought about self-replicator. I don't know if self-replicator is good enough. I 
Yeah, the spawn of mayhem is going to kill them soon. But so is our army of cats, led by Hawkeye. See, he was, he was there paying close attention. Yeah, that's you. That's you. All right, who is up next? The Cat Commander. <laughs> Arena does want me to cast 20 black or red spells. You can't do those in challenges. So I've, I've cast 20 black or red spells, but in challenges today. All right, if you're a subscriber and you like to battle up next, type battle into the chat. If you want to be like Hawkeye and battle my headphones. These are my headphones. Why do you hate my headphones so much? Right. <laughs> He's all excited about that, that cat army that was just here. All right, I'm going to go put the headphones away, okay? I'm going to go put them away. Go get them. Go get them. All right, he's going to go make sure they're dead. All right, let's see who's up next. <laughs> All right, ice up, son. <laughs> All right, good luck, Isop Sun. All right, send me that gamer tag. Let's let the wheel decide what the next deck is. Now, the headphones don't work super well. Probably because of Hawkeye. Yeah, Hawkeye. Come here. Nope. Okay. Ooh, Abzan Citadel. This deck's a lot of fun. Do some crazy stuff with Citadel. All right, uh, there's my gamer tag right there. Got yours. All right, where's Abzan Citadel? All right, so this deck. Hey, it's all right, Jeff. Yeah, those kind of games happen. Um, you, you'll get me next time. <laughs> no, like a, like a Zoe, you called it. I'm too scared to battle you. All right, so that's our deck. All right, here we go. Bulls of Citadel is your favorite deck to lose to now? It just says, yeah, no, uh, yeah, I Sun is, is subscribed, Vincent. Um, it always just says, like the MTG bot just says follow. There. Ooh. Gonna need some more lands than that. Eh, we'll find some green land. See? I've, I'm using, like, all my good draws. And everything. On this game. Or, like on like the sub battle stream here and then like tomorrow when we play ranked I'm going to just like have like terrible hands that I'm mulliganing all the time and everything. Oh no, I haven't tried scape shift in these kind of decks. Wow wow. Cast down.
Johnny. Retro. I thought I was the person that you. went a Danto Vanguard into a Johnny. No, Hawkeye's betraying me. Be strong. Come back, Land Warolf. I need ya. I need ya. I got a Citadel to play next turn. Alright, Aku. Have a wonderful night. Alright, the District has mobilized. You are capable of more than you assume. Citadel. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, Johnny. Hmm. We already played a land. I will teach you humility. So must. we'll have to get this branch walker back, clear off this land. I demand servitude. Ugh, another citadel? I don't think I want another citadel. Let's gain some life back for next turn. All right, next turn, the of peace? we're going to play Doom Whisper and then really go crazy, because then we'll just like be able to surveil if there's like cards on top we don't want. Cool, Softball Wolf. Yeah, stick around. I got another hour in the sub-battle stream tonight. Don't kill my Soren. Look how far you have come. Don't kill me. <laughs> Alright, so, so Johnny's about to ultimate. We're gonna have to figure out how to deal with that. We got new a Johnny though. Hmm. <laughs> Strong, but my resolve is stronger. Dreadhorde invasion. All right, let's go. Let's find Wild Growth Walker. Don't want either of those. Don't want either of those. We're not doing so well here. Jeez, don't want either of those. Okay, here we go. Bond of Flourishing. I'll take the Jade Light, even though I can't quite cast it. Um... This is down to six. Because it's another blocker, though. There it is. Alright, down to four. Um... Yeah, we got some more life to play with. Down to two. Jeez, don't want those. All right, game three. Now, do you see the benefits of peace? 
I don't know how this is a thing, but this is a thing. That's crazy. Uh, Mortify doesn't really help us too much. Let's get rid of those. All right, down to two. I guess that's where I'm ending. I could go I mean I can go back up to four. What a mess I've made. Cease this. But I can't if I pay two life here, there's I can't, you know, like pay another two life, so I can't really do anything else. So I think I just stop here. JC Cells is super dead the next turn, though. Deliver us to victory. No, we don't. We don't lose if they wrath. I guess we do. Yeah, because the Dante Vanguard. So having the Jade Light in the graveyard is is really good for Soren. Soren can minus and bring back the Jade Light. Yeah. I I couldn't attack with the Whisper had summoning sickness. I couldn't attack with the Whisper. I played Whisper that turn. I know it was forever ago because of how long that turn was. Um let's get Knight of Autumn. Instead of Mortify. Kind of like everything else in our main deck. I'm just going to take out one Mortify, bring in Knight of Autumn. Playing Knight of Autumn because of enchantment removal and because of history banalia. No, I don't update the decklist command every single time because we... Uh, so you have to go to, like, the, the decks page and you can scroll to, to find, like, whatever deck we're playing. But because we're playing a different deck every single round, I don't update the decklist command every single time. It would take, like, a couple of minutes each time. And Yeah. That was a pretty good hero. Gatsby asked, "Does anybody have a mono black control deck they like?" Hero goes, "Yeah, but it was it, it was onslaught block standard." <laughs> Maybe we'll draw Wow Growth Walker on turn two. Since we're drawing so well today, this seems like a wild growth walker draw. I don't know why we would draw anything else, to be honest. Ugh. I thought for sure it was going to be wild growth walker. Hey, what's up, baloney pony? Good to see you too. So I think JC Cells is playing the Orzhov midrange deck. Uh, one of the decks on the wheel. I think that's what they're playing. This looks like the Orzhov midrange deck, at least. Ow. Uh, 
we need to wait a turn for the Wild Growth Walker. I thought it was going to be turn two. It was turn three. It wasn't turn two. It was in, in two draws. No. All our hopes and dreams. Just make the find finality that, that we'll find even better. Okay, we'll have Doom Whisperer next turn. And then Doom Whisperer will surveil and look for um, the Citadel. Ooh, Seraph's a good card. I just want to stay alive. Citadel, where are you at? There you are. Do I want to land a war off after the Citadel? No, I do not. Let's see if we want to pay one life to put a land war off into play. Oh, don't have it to spark. Don't. Don't do it. Don't have to dis spark. Have all of our hopes and dreams here. Well, at least we're good against a spark. Good ish. Right, row. I march into battle as your champion of justice. We're getting beaten down here. I believe in you, friend. <laughs> that is true. We are third. Yeah, that is true. I guess I am thirteen and three today, and we're and I'm up a game. I keep on saying we're, but it's not we're today. Because today it's team chat versus me. They activate Mobilize District. I'm dead. They can still activate Mobilize District. No. All right, well, then I'm dead. I can't, um, I have to block with the Wild Growth Walker. I can't find anything. We know the top card's a land. We're going to one. All right, I think I want my own Dispark. Dispark in Night of Autumn out. I get rid of that Seraph. I mean, I have the Contempts, but... <laughs> All right, game three here. This could be ugly.
Vanguard. Yep, luck, luck's starting to catch up to us. <laughs> it's best two out of three, Petty. So even if I lose one game, it's the match. So like, like I just lost that game, but that's not the the match. It's the match is now one to one since so we're playing the deciding game three right now. So even though I've lost a lot more than three games, we've only lost three matches. That was a great Jade Light Ranger for me. Because I want to, I'm getting that in there because I want to cast Find and get back my Wild Growth Walker and Jade Light Ranger. Oh, never mind. We're going to do that. Won't be able to cast finality this turn. I am proud to fight by your side. Strength is born of struggle. Hmm. I think we're leading off with Bond of Flourishing. And then going Jade Light. Because I want to lead off with the Bond of Flourishing so that we do get to stack our deck like we want to. Interesting. You gonna block with everything? Okay. I'll take out the two knights for the walker. How they did the block at first, I thought that maybe they were just blocking like the one thing, but I'll try it with the two knights there. Um, I don't know Minty wins, but maybe somebody else in chat knows or knows a link to that information about the MQWs. Look how far you have come. Hmm. 
Oh, use two green sources? Do that. I was of course looking for Citadel, but we haven't seen we haven't seen Citadel yet. So I'm think I'm gonna be finalitying this next turn. Now I guess I'm probably gonna oath Akaya the a Johnny. Uh, I guess I needed to do one of those this next this last turn. I guess I really did need to finality last turn. Can I just beat a Johnny ultimate? I mean, I probably can, right? All right, we're, we're going to see if we can beat a Johnny ultimate. New plan. Yeah, I could I could oath hit a Johnny, but then these things get really big. But I guess I guess that's what we're doing. I haven't really figured out what I want to do yet. I want to just find Citadel and start playing every single card in my deck. We just can't find a citadel anywhere. Perhaps there is a peaceful solution. Maybe I should attack with the four three Jade Light there. They pay four life with the Danto Vanguard. But then my Jade Lights in the graveyard, so I can find back two Jade Lights. I just want to draw a Citadel. How many cards we're looking at? There's 37 minus 4. We got 33 cards left. We haven't seen a Citadel yet. We've seen 27 cards. Together, we can banish evil from this plane. Deliver us to victory. Your light will cleave the darkness. Lifelink Vanguard. Vigilant Vanguard. No attacks? I will teach you humility. If I must. Mm. 
with me. Wow. Wow. That's unexpected. All right, JC Cells got me. Yeah, I guess I had to fi finality that one turn and take out the Midnight Reaper and Adonto Vanguard. Yep, yep, yep. Doesn't matter. A familiar taste, but one that grows no sweeter. Game's not over though. Citadel, you never know. Where's the Citadel at? Anything that's not a Citadel is leaving. <laughs> Othakaya has only gained us five life. The Wild Growth Walkers are what gained us a ton of life. We had two other wild growth walkers in play that both died after gaining a bunch of life. This only gained three one time and then two another time. It's only gained five life. <clears throat> if I can just find I will not kill, but they it's gonna make it harder. If I can just find and Abzan's, uh, the Bolus of Citadel. I don't know exactly how we're going to do it. I've used both my finalities now, so now I don't know if I can beat a, a Johnny Ultimate. Nice Doesn't get easier. <laughs> it's not getting easier. Dead. They were a lousy servant anyway. All right, not gonna lie, I'm in a tough spot here. Not gonna lie. There's no Citadel in this deck. Just can't find one. Be much greater together. Now, do you see the benefits of peace? No, I don't have a guy's blessing to reshuffle the graveyard. All those creatures have lifelink now? Yeah, 
then Shit. next turn, Mine Gideon left. gets to exile the Citadel. Alright, this one's a loss. Never found it. All right, team chat. Yep, picked up a victory. GG's. All right. Who's going to keep the winning streak alive? Type the word battle if you'd like to be the next one. It's only for subscribers. A win with the subs over 50 life. Ugh. No, Eyes Up Sun, you're great. It was all good. GG's there. Was that that was the Orzhov midrange deck, right? How are you liking that deck? That's one of my last, uh, I got six, looks like I got six decks left. That's one of them, the one that you just played, Orzhov Midrange. We have both Grixis decks, two Grixis, the Parhelion 2 Gates, Esper Legends, Gruul Dinosaurs, and Orzhov Midrange. We probably got time for two more matches today. All right, everybody in here? Go ahead and get started. Yeah, we're going to have two more matches today. Jelly Tug. Oh, man. Jelly Tug's been wanting to get in on this. All right. Send me that gamer tag. And there's mine. All right, we got time for two more matches. So let's see our last two decks. Grixis Control. All right, so I'm playing the list that we played yesterday on stream. This is the list we played yesterday, so we'll, we'll be playing here with this one. All right, pick your best anti Grixis deck. All right, good luck, Jelly Tug. Yeah, did we did not do very well yesterday with this deck. So that's uh Peyton, you're supposed to cheer that it goes just like yesterday, that we don't that I don't do good again. Got Gotta cheer for team chat. Unless you want to be on Team Todd, I guess. Oh no! We got the Grixis mirror. It's the anti Grixis deck. Well, this is the 75 card mirror. I think I want to have Bedevil here. Uh, I thought there was going to be a threat coming down. Kefnet's just great. Just eats a removal spell and keeps on ticking. Oh, 
I should not have tapped the red source. Should have shocked in. Not punished. Or Kefnet. Kefnet eats every removal spell. Ah, Grixis Dragons. Okay. I know what I'm doing. Wait, is this a do I have two Kefnets on top now? This would have been the second Kefnet, right? Oh, jeez, I don't know. I can't risk it. That is two Kefnets. All right, well, couldn't risk it. I am only human. Oh, sorry to hear about that, Ice of Sun, saying I spent my last Mythic Wild card on Oketra a week ago and still haven't drawn her once. Wow. Definitely reveal. So Nimvisa will be able to draw two. There's a little Shiv and Fire here also. Just cycle that. No, I don't really want to cast the other calf net and just retuck it, because then then it takes another draw step. It does Protect it from Thought Erasure, but like the one on the battlefield will be good enough. Yeah, I'm not updating the deck list so much today because we're playing different decks every match. Um, but if you just go to the decks page. Uh, you can find this deck that I'm playing here, Grixis Control, from yesterday. not that beneficial to bounce that thing. No, it's definitely not with the Dragon's Horde. We had two more matches tonight. This one and one more.
basically we just we're putting our opponent down to four here. We'll see if we draw like a removal spell to help end the game. You know, with having the other surveil that we're about to have. All right, so they get draw. They get three cards. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, Thieva Sandy wouldn't really help too much against Niv Mizzet, so. Good thing we didn't keep that. <laughs> yeah, glad you're liking the playlist. I have my playlist here on Spotify. Right there. If, if you want to give it a follow, listen, or listen to it, or whatever. Niv Mizza was a good one. Again. Ran out of removal. I will return one day. <laughs> you have no weakness I cannot exploit. I'm getting rid of that so that I still have... I can flip Ascanta and I still have three mana to activate Ascanta and then four mana for a Contempt. That's not ideal, of course. It looked so good for us a little bit ago. It looked so good. We went 4-0 with the with the uh, Jeskai Super Friends. Way to go, Re Rex. Then undefeated in top eight. 4-0 in the Swiss. Good job. An ego. Yeah. Get rid of those Niv Mizzets. It's up there, Robbie. Yeah, Esper has all the tools. It is very good. And the God Eternals, I think, is pretty good. They have a lot of dragons that it kills, including Nicobolus. Kills that. I'm just going to take out all the threats from their deck. Niv Mizzet Perun. Get those out of here. All right, so what else you got in here? An Ugin. Some Sarkins. Like three Sarkins. Or no, two, yeah, three little Sarkins, one big Sarkin, an Ugin. Only one more other Bolas.
Nicol Bolas, the Ravager. So they do get to draw two cards. So it's not like I'm just like taking two cards from their hand. They get to replace those. But we're going to make their dragon deck a lot less dragony. None of those mythics. No, now they know to play around the Enter the God Eternals and make the Hellkite a 5 5. Told me I should Hopefully they'll draw a lot of lands now. Follow you into the dark. A dragon would rather die than lose. I haven't determined how I'm going to deal with this Hellkai yet. Run around the band. That's a way to deal with the Hellkite. Jelly Tug just wants to play his dragons. Exile them all. I'm all exiled. That's eight dragons of exiled. Ugh! And two more are still coming here? Dragon's Horde's really good. Add, adds mana. It's drawn him three cards so far. Well, two so far. And it's about to be a third. Hmm. All right, well, we got rid of the Ugin. Among uh, cards milled over. So the Ugin's gone. My dragon. I guess that's fair play. So it's understandable. It's coming down to a race. Who's four four can end the game first? I got this, the most fragile defense we can. So fragile. Uh, 
GG's. It's like Jelly Tug needed to needed to use this rampage and, and get rid of my token. Jelly Tug was thinking they could race the token. You saw Jelly Tug kind of flooded out after we took all the threats. Let's get this other enter the God Eternals in. That card's great. All right, game three. Do we get to double one more ego again? Yeah, enter the God Eternals. That's an awesome card. I'm honestly thinking that maybe it should just be, be playing four in these blue-black decks, like, in the 75. Yeah, in these kind of... In these, uh... Just 1v1 matches, you get infinite time sideboarding. Bowl of sleeves. What's that, Pendle? You will feel the lick of my flame. I'll show you unhinged. Oh yeah, Oketra with a ton of mana dorks. Strong to quite strong. Dragons. Alright, so trying to keep them off of mana. Alright, well, it looks good for us. We get the last word with the Dragon God. I will remake the multiverse in my image. Just six permanents? I will return. Like six cards? I outsmarted you eons ago. I feel like exiling each one is like really brutal. Ah, a feeble effort. Yeah, this this dragon god is just so brutal whenever you're ahead like this. My schemes are never ending. Yeah. Kill dragon? No. Kill land. Absolutely.
That's just too brutal. So brutal. I drew a Sark in the master list and have the mana for it. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna do the same thing again. Tick up, exile one of the four, play the the bolus, tick up again, exile another one of the four. GG's Jelly Tug, especially that game two. That game two is awesome. Game one was really good too. Game one and two. Those are both really good. And yeah, that game three wasn't so bad either. <laughs> and now I took all your dragons. Took all your dragons. All right, well, I, it's 10 o'clock now. Um, yeah, I don't think you should probably cast the Rampage. I think you should probably wait. I think you should probably, because you know about my my Planeswalker Nickel Bowl, so you have to kill that. But, oh well. So usually we'd be done right now. It's 10 o'clock, but I did say we're playing another one. So if you want to be in the very last battle, and if you're a subscriber, then type the word battle into the chat. We're going to do one more match. Let's get some bonus magic here. <laughs> yeah. And I, I just kept drawing Nicol Boluses. I was going to do the same thing the very next turn. I drew all three of my Planeswalker Nicol Boluses there. <laughs> all right, good night, Pendle, Pendle Steven. All right, we got a couple people in. I have three. <laughs> yeah, I had two one more egos that I, you saw the like the third one later on in that game. Yeah, had three three egos in because I did not want to deal with Niv Mizzet. <laughs> All right, let's see who we got. Who's up? Minty wins. All right, Minty wins. You get the last match of the night. Send me that gamer tag. I guess I should update this over here. 14 4. 14 wins for 14 subs today. 14 subs today, 14 wins. All right, yeah, let's see if we get the Parhelion deck. We only got five decks left. If it's Grixis discard, I'll, I'll redo it because we just played a Grixis deck. I don't want to go Grixis back to back. So uh, we got four decks that could be. It's either going to be the Parhelion two gates. Esper Legends, Orzhov Midrange, or Gruul Dinosaurs. Let's see what we got. Yeah, this is Paramore. Or no, no, this is PVRIS. Wow, I really thought this was Paramore. My House is the name of the song. All right, Orzhov. <laughs> yeah, the, the artifact that makes angels. All right, here's our Orzov list. We're real aggressive. It's a good list. All good, Minty Wins. Send me that gamer tag over when you get it. Um, I don't have a settle, but I have fi I have a finale, the black finale. I don't think I have a settle. Oh, I do. I have one settle, one settle, and two of the black finales. These are for, like the black finales are for like for aggro. 
It's definitely possible the deck shouldn't have Dreadhorde Invasion. Definitely possible we're not supposed to have Dreadhorde Invasion in here. And if y'all missed any of the sub battle stream or any of the decks that we've played before, don't forget about the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Todd Stevens MTG. Uh, part one and part two of the sub battle stream from today is already up there on YouTube right now. And we are recording part three, finishing that up right now. So there's already the first two parts up there and all the decks that we played recently. Ooh, don't forget to change it to best of three there, Minty wins. I always forget to do that too. The first time. Yep, best of three. Alright, Jelly Tuck says, I need advice. I can't decide how many Sarkin the Masterless and Nicol Bolas Dragon Gods to run in a Dragon Grixis deck. I obviously want lots of dragons, but those Planeswalkers are so good. Yeah, I don't I, I don't mind running those Planeswalkers, because they are really good. Um, yeah, I thought your your numbers made sense. I think I saw, like, one big Sarkin and, like, one... One Dragon God. You may just want to move away from Hellkite. I think... I've always kind of been a little underwhelmed with Hellkite. Yeah, I could see two Dragon Gods, one Sarkin. That's what you're using? Okay, yeah. The Dreadhorde, it's, the Dreadhorde is definitely better when you have, like, Enter the God Eternals and, like, other ways to pump up the Dreadhorde. And I do like Dreadhorde, but, like, with this deck, like, our Dreadhordes just are kind of thing against, like, control and stuff. I do like how Gideon giving the Dreadhorde lifelink all the time. You don't have to worry about that life loss. I, mean, I think I'm just slamming history into history here. What's Minty doing over here? Forest, forest, plains. That's not something you see too often. I don't anymore, please work. I used to, but I am a stay-at-home streamer these days. Ah, uh, yeah. Guarantee Spawn of Mayhem with that Dreadhorde. Cool. Alright, we got Bant stuff. A little late, Paradise Druid. Looks like Paradise Druid may have got lost or didn't see the directions to the battlefield. Ended up Showing up late. Typical Paradise Druid. Always showing up late. All right, Jelly Tug. Yeah, have a good night. Yep, definitely streaming tomorrow. We're going to be doing some more. I have like uh, one or two donation decks to do. Um, I got a Jun donation deck to do. I'm going to be doing some ranked with the Selesnya Arcbow deck that... Um, I'm really enjoying these days. Gonna be playing that tomorrow. All right. Well, I can't beat that card. <laughs> uh, I can't beat that one. I walk a righteous path. Ah, oh, you. Take. I believe in you, friend. Indestructible. I mean, if I if I do life link, they just block another one. It doesn't matter. I guess I could life link the tithe taker. So Gideon should be down. He 
Yeah, Paradise Druid was late to history class. There. But then if Gideon, even if uh, Gideon goes down here, we have a lot of damage coming in. Ugh. Wow. That's clutch. That should just wipe up all the tokens. Yeah, just wipe up all three tokens, have Lyra kill Gideon. And this game's over. Yeah, this looks like Bant Arcbow. Or just Bant, you know, Bant midrange. Good deck. It's a good deck. It's not not one I want to face too much here. Alright, so I think I want these finales. All these Disparks. The Settle. The Contempt. The Liliana. My own Lyra's. Maybe Mortify. You know, basically just change up my deck completely. All right, take care, Tug. Do I want a Danto Vanguard still? I think I kind of do. What are these four drops don't I want? Soren, a Johnny. Got to take out a lot of cards. This is too much removal. I don't need the Mortifies. Maybe I don't need all these Disparks. Two Disparks, two Mortify. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mondo, Mike. All right, 65. Hmm. Let's go Tithe Taker. It's going to kind of split these two drops. I don't really know exactly what I'm doing here. <laughs> it's late. Uh, I don't know exactly what we're doing. Yeah, first strike with Lyra against Seraph. There. All right, I'm going to slam Gideon this time on turn three so I can start ticking up Gideon instead of slamming the history banalias that did not work out at all. Played Gideon where Gideon would have been able to be at a, enough loyalty to be able to minus and get rid of Lyra. Hey, guy. Defend the weak at every up. I will Vigilance. My strength. Attack.
get rid of that. Let's go vigilance again. Your light will cleave the darkness. So they want to. If they want to attack Gideon with land war elf, we'll be able to block it. Oh no, the guild gate. Oh wow, that's a great draw. Prepare for battle. <laughs> yeah, I don't have like uh, this deck list you can find in uh, like you just find it on the stream decker page. We're changing decks up each round. Um, so I have been updating the newest one. Ow. That wolf. The wolf got me. I can take a hit or two. Vigilance. So just letting Gideon take the hit for two. Yeah, so I do these these sub battle streams um, every twenty sub goals that we hit, which the sub goals is whenever ten people su subscribe. Uh, we have currently hit five now towards the next one, and there's uh, information down in the info panel. It's it says four down below, but we hit one today with getting to fourteen subs. Um, and so you know we can hit multiple of those in a day or so. Um, kind of works out to be every like ten days, two weeks, basically maybe like every two weeks. Yeah, probably about every every two weeks. And I like doing them on Saturdays here because that's a lot of people have uh, the work day off on Saturday and um, are able to participate more in it. I believe it. Attack. Down to two. It's kind of a risky life total to to not block with the I thought the land war elf was gonna get in front of the Gideon. It's kinda of risky being at two whenever I have three flyers to their one flyer. All right, here we go. Let's take a settle out. Game three. Ugh. Last game of the night.
I like mulliganing too. Minty mulligans, I'll mulligan also. But yeah, my normal stream time is from 3 to 10 each and every day. Uh, Played standard. We do ranked. We do donation decks. And we have fun. Definitely possible I should be cast downing that Land of War Elf. Yeah, because like the bigger things are all going to be legendary, or like a lot of them. Like Lyra, Oketra, Seraph. Let's slow this down. This might be a bad idea. Go, Gideon, go. I am here to aid in the assault. I believe in you, friend. I want Gideon to start attacking. What we're doing here game here three we, we are going to be attacking can't beat oketra i probably should have just taken out the cast downs for um I should have taken those out for like other removal spells. Like make just have all the mortifies and just sparks in. You my strength. Remember, I cannot instant speed cast down because it's a fairy. I can't respond to the Growth Chamber Guardian activation, for example. Unless Teferi's dead. Only time will not. And Teferi's dead. So now I can. Minty should have done that before Teferi was gone. No. A minus six Gideon to get rid of that thing? Guess so. Good triumphs this day. Oh, it feels bad. Looks like I should have cast down that land war elf a long, long time ago. So all I'm doing is attacking. Dang. So we're not winning the later game. GG. We're not we're not beating the Oketra that's coming here in a little bit and these other three cards in hand that are not lands. <laughs> GG's Minty. I was quick to pull the trigger on the concede of both games one and three, but I was not winning them, and it is late in the stream, and that's just how it was, but I was not winning either of those games. All right, GG's Minty.
All right, so uh, thank you everybody for watching. Oh yeah, Riot Vale, we just ended. Thanks everybody for watching the sub battle stream today. Uh, if you wanna go back and check it out, Riot Vale, part one and part two are already up on the YouTube channel. I'm about to start part three. If you're watching this later on the YouTube channel, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this fun stream. Um, yep, we'll have another one sometime soon whenever we get enough sub goals and there you go yep time for youtube <laughs> all right so yeah thank you for watching on youtube uh, if you're watching